cuties. It is that time that we do a spring outfits video. So today I'm gonna put on some outfits that I would wear in spring slash I am wearing in spring because we're in spring. Yeah, I don't have anything else to say. If the item is available or if I can find something similar to it, it will be linked down below. Otherwise, it's probably thrifted or not available and my deepest apologies for that. I like to rewear a lot of my clothes and a lot of them are either old or thrifted. So I urge you to look within your own closet before purchasing something new. Okay, let's get into it. Also ignore this. It's staying there. It's just my life right now, I'm sorry. Okay, first outfit, very, very simple. I think that this is a pretty classic spring look. Um, I'm just wearing a thrifted skirt. I feel like this is pretty attainable in a lot of people's closet. And then just like a high neck tank. I think this is really nice, like a really nice cut for spring. It's not like too, I don't know, like obviously it's a tank top, but you know what I mean? Because it's high cut. This one's from Cotton. And then just a classic pair of sneakers. I'm wearing my Reebok Club C's. I'm so happy I didn't get rid of them because I've been wearing them a lot recently. And then I feel like classic spring outfits are always ones where you can like layer because it's not quite too hot yet, even though we are currently experiencing a heat wave here in Victoria. But I think typically this is kind of the level of warmth you would want. So I think this is very cute. Definitely can see me wearing this a lot in the next couple of weeks. Okay, this is obviously very simple, but for some reason I always forget that all black is a thing I can do, especially on a day where I'm not really necessarily feeling any of my clothes. I think having some pieces that just fit you well in a sense that like you can put it together like this and it feels good on you is invaluable in your wardrobe. So. This is my look, my version of that. Um, I just got these thrifted 501s from Flavor Upstairs, which is like a vintage secondhand shop here in Victoria. Sorry, you can hear my email, I just turned it off. Um, obviously wearing my Super Berkies, my favorite shoes. I'm not wearing them with socks right now. I definitely would avoid wearing them without socks in the summertime or in the spring. They are pretty hot, but sometimes I risk it for the biscuit if I don't wanna wear a sock. This is just a crew neck. I'm it's so hot in my apartment. I'm sorry. I'm like so out of breath. <laughs> this is just a crew neck uh, ribbed tee from Aritzia. They have really good basics there. It's basically the only thing that I get at Aritzia anymore. And then my cost bag that I use all the time. So yeah, I know this is so simple, but sometimes I kind of feel like I need someone to spell it out for me. You know what I mean? Another very simple, predictable Sarah look. Um, I'm wearing the Reformation jade skirt that I wear so much. I've been wearing this quite a bit recently. Uh, thrifted bag. It's not real leather. I featured it a couple vlogs ago, I think. And this shirt that y'all know I love so much that is also thrifted. And then some Asics. I think this is a good spring look because I feel like oftentimes you want to be like spring forward, aka skirts and shorts, but the weather isn't cooperating so you need like a little bit of a long sleeve. So I really like this. We'll definitely be wearing this. Also, I just took a little bit of a break to get some lunch with my boyfriend because he recently started, or literally today, I started his new job, which is very near where I live. So we can take lunch every day together. So do I look different? Do I look satisfied and full? I had some way. <laughs> I'm also feeling like a little bit uninspired. I feel like y'all have seen the same shit from me before. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay, also I was thinking this for like more night out spring with a moto jacket. I feel like ever since the advent of everyone getting that Acne Studios like distressed leather jacket, motos and like this sort of jacket are like coming back a bit. Not to say that this isn't a very classic jacket, but I think it's just becoming, you know, the trend wave is with it again. So. I have been pulling mine out quite a bit actually. I feel like there was a time where I wasn't really feeling this and I think since I've seen that jacket in specific, I've been wearing this a lot more. So consider me influenced. 
Um, but nice to have something in your own wardrobe that you kind of maybe put away for a little bit and now it's back. But I thought same base, just put on a little um, white tank top and then put the jacket over top. Very cute. I don't know. I'm really not trying too hard, y'all. I'm just trying to maybe give you some, just a couple ideas. <laughs> I also really love monochromatic looks. I think that's something I'm really going to lean into heavily, no matter the color. I think that's something I really, really love for spring. Next look is something I've been seeing a lot recently, and that's mixing, like, sportier things with very, like, kind of chic things. So I thought this was a good mix because I feel like for spring it's kind of cool still. So doing a cashmere sweater vest, this is from Everlane, and then these thrifted Adidas shorts. And then I just paired them with some sneakers. Obviously you could do like a little ballet flat or a little heel or something if you were kind of going somewhere more dressed up. And then I decided to pair it with my, um, I think this is the tabby bag from Coach just because this is like the most elevated bag I have and so I feel like it really helps, you know, kind of dress it up a little bit with the shorts. So, what do we think? I kind of love it. Definitely will wear this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. This outfit was inspired by Miss Lala Olivia. Olivia, I hurt you. Probably during the summertime when she was or maybe it was the winter. I honestly could not tell you when it was, but she posted a photo of her with like a pair of green shorts and a black sort of crew-ish kind of vibe. And so I, this is my version of it. I have the freeform little skirt from Outdoor Voices and then just a crew from TNA and my super Berkies, of course. And then I've been really liking looks, especially since I have now my beloved vintage Gucci wallet where I just have my wallet out instead of like bringing a whole bag with me so very simple and cute I've been wearing this a lot I love it for spring I feel like it's a good transition you know it's warm but it's not too warm yet so I feel like this is good for that it's so comfy that's my number one thing okay I wanted to do like a little bit of an elevated or I don't know I'm wearing friggin loafers so every time I wear loafers I feel like I'm dress fancy or something. So, denim shorts, thrifted like flowy black top. I feel like we all have at least one flowy black top in our wardrobes. Um, I love loafers with socks. I think it looks really cute. And then I just have this little Nuno tiny little bag to go with. Super cute, super easy. Spring. I don't know, I'm kind of... Is this cute? I feel like I don't really know anymore. I like it and I feel good in it, but I don't know. I guess black isn't very spring, but you know what? Black always goes no matter what. So I stand by this outfit. Here's another simple spring look that I love. I love when people wear like a, a vest top with just a plain pair of jeans. Obviously I'm obsessed with these. 501 90s from Levi's and I decided to just do it with my Birkenstocks so obviously you could do like a heel or something to sort of dress this up but this is just a classic easy peasy spring look that is comfy I think for the most part whether appropriate and I just think it's really cute this is Donnie by the way also I got this Gorgina leather bag from Madewell. This is not really my vibe. Like I feel like this whole style together is a little bit, I don't know if you know me at all. It's, I, but I think it looks very cute. That's what I'm trying to say. Like I think if you had a big coat or something, this would be a very cute look. It's just not so much me, but I wanted to show you this gorgeous bag because I think it's so beautiful. Oh, and I added a little See in pattern necklace too. Bring it all together. What do we think? Okay, last look. Had to pull out a trench because what screams spring more than trench and florals? So here we are. Oh, there's a big truck. Wearing a little breath 
skirt that I love. My super burkies, obviously. And then I'm wearing a pajama tank top. This one's from Arc. Same one I was wearing at the beginning of the video. I really love it. I also kind of love the way white bras look under white tanks. Is that weird? I don't know. Thrifted jacket and then thrifted bag. But I guess I could also do crossbody and I like the way it looks. Honestly, y'all, it is so hot in my apartment. I might have to stop here. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here while I try and close to give you some inspo for spring outfits. I hope you like them. We'll do summer outfits next. How about that? Okay, love you so much. Bye.